So today I'm in a comfy shirt because I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I really love to talk and that is one of my favorite genres of all time. So if you're curious, you should probably keep watching. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katrina and welcome to my channel. So today I decided I was going to do another book tag and that tag will be the classics book tag. And why? Because although I am a lover of fantasy and fantasy will always have the first place in my heart, I also adore classics and it's something that I read in summer, in winter, when I need to get comfy, when I want to cry a little bit, when I just feel like learning about something. It's something that I always reach for a lot and I decided that they deserve a tag of their own and I wanted to show some of my classics and I want to answer some questions about it. So supposedly I wasn't really tagged but I talked about um, doing this tag with uh, Roya Eve Reads and I will leave the link for her channel down below and uh, I told her that it was really awesome and that I was thinking of doing it and she was like okay so consider yourself tagged. So technically I wasn't tagged but I kinda am now so yeah, I'm just going to leave the link to her channel down below and thank you so much for doing this uh, because I really wanted to do this tag. So without further ado, let us just proceed to the questions. So question number one is an overhyped classic you really didn't like. So I don't really have a classic that I don't like, at least for now, pretty much all of the classics that I read I loved. Um, some more than others obviously and I have my favorite uh, classic writers and I have my favorite classic books but pretty much all of the classics that I read I think that I enjoy them. Question number two is favorite time period to read about and in this one I'm kind of going to copy uh, Roya Eve Reed's answer because I really love to read about Victorian ages um, but I also like to read any classics that are set in the world wars in the first or in the second one. Normally uh, I usually read more about the second one than the first one. Um, I do enjoy those kind of settings. Um, what do I read more that has historical settings? Let me check. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Or Victorian or yeah, something about the, the war while it's going on or not. And yeah, that's pretty much my settings. Question number two, three is favorite fairy tale and for this one I'm going to have to answer the original Peter Pan and I read that book and I loved it. And obviously I also loved another's as Alice in Wonderland and The Wizard of Oz, but those are not really fairy tale-ish in a sense. So I'm gonna go with Peter Pan, which if you kinda try and see it um, from another perspective, you can also say that it's not really fairy tale-ish, kind of, but I I think that it has some of the elements that you could consider a fairy tale story. It has a moral, um, it has magic, it has um, small aged characters and something like that. So I don't know, I just, I really love that book and I really wanted to mention it and it's considered a classic and it's considered a magical classic. So Peter Pan, yeah, I just, I love that book. I really love the representation that they give to Peter, which is sort of different from the Disney movie Peter Pan. Uh, and yeah, I really adored it. Question number four is, what is the most embarrassed classic you haven't read? Or what is the classic you're most embarrassed that you haven't read? This question is kind of strange. But uh, I have several for this question, so I decided to just show you three that I still haven't read and that I really want to read. And possibly this year will be the year, we will see, but I'm just going to proceed to show them to you. So the first one is Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert and I have already seen the most recent adaptation of this classic and I haven't read it so that is a big no-no for me, I normally don't do this but I actually haven't got the book in time so I just watched it and now I really want to read the book because there were some things that weren't very clear to me in the adaptation so I really want to read it and I have it for a long long time and I haven't got to it yet so it's kind of shameful. Another one that I really want to read is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf and this one obviously for all the right reasons I have to read it and I have considered picking it up a multitude of times but then I was just not in the mood for a classic so Maybe in the winter I can still pick this up because this is really small so it will probably be cool for me to read during this time while I have so much work to do to just pick this up and read it. We shall see. And the third one is The Bonfire of the Vanities by Tom Wolfe and I actually have found myself with a new renovated interest in reading this because 
once I just I dropped by my shelves as I normally do and I read um, the synopsis for this and I just thought this would be amazing to read right now with my state of mind so I really want to read it and this one is a little bit big but it sounds beautifully amazing and I just I have to read it and there's a movie about it with some great actors so I should probably get on with it. Question number five is a little bit after this one, but it is top five classics you would like to read. And so I will just proceed in showing you the covers of the classics I would like to read. So the first three obviously are the ones that I already told you, uh, Madame Bovary, Mrs. Dalloway and A Bonfire of Vanities. And now I'm going to show you the next two. So the next two would be The Constant Garden by John Le Carré and also The English Patient by Michelle Ondach. I really want to read these two, so yeah, they're on my list, as long with the other three ones that I previously showed you. Question number six is favorite modern book or series based on a classic, and actually I haven't read uh, any modern books or series based on a classic, but I'm going to turn this around and tell you what I would like to read that I know it's based on a classic, and that will be Pride and Prejudice and, jo and Zombies, because I know it has to do with Pride and Prejudice, but it's sort of different, and I would like to see what they did with that, because I haven't seen the movie adaptation, and I kind of want to read that and know what they did with that. And also fairy tale retellings, like Peter Pan retellings or Alice in Wonderland retellings. I, I love that, and I really want to read them. Um, I also know um, that there is a retelling for all of the fairy tales um, by Marissa Meyer, which is, I believe, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress and winter and I would like to read that as well but that counts as retellings and yeah I don't really know any more that have to do with uh, classics that I can read but maybe if you know some you can leave them linked down below in the description because everything that has to do with classics for me it's pretty awesome so maybe I would like to try some of them. Question number seven is favorite TV show or movie version based on a classic and I really enjoyed the modern Anna Karenina with Kara Knightley. It's really beautifully made, it looks like a, a setting of a play and it has all of the important feelings of the classic shown into it. Um, also the Pride and Prejudice version with Kara Knightley, I really love that movie, I've seen that movie countless times, I really do adore it and yeah, those are the ones that I kind of remember right now so I don't know tell me more movie adaptations of classics down below because yeah I don't know what to watch question number eight is worst classic to movie adaptations and I don't know if it's the worst because I haven't read the book yet that's what I was I was telling you about I have seen uh, the Madame Bovary movie but I haven't read the book and this recent movie was kind of strange in a way because it kind of portrayed the character as it being her fault that everything was falling apart in her life and that she wasn't um, a good person in a way. So I was just a little bit shocked about it because for, to me it seemed that she had some problems adapting to some certain kinds of situations that I'm not going to tell you here because it will be considered a spoiler. So I really want to read the book because I think that the portrayal of the main character in the movie was like a spoiled child that didn't know what she wanted and I thought that, that was not maybe what the author of the book wanted. So I don't know about worse adaptation but it was an adaptation that made me feel uncomfortable and I decided that I wanted to read the book because of it, just so I could tell that it wasn't a good adaptation or if it was what was going on in that. You know what I mean? Just, you understand what I mean. Question number nine is, favorite edition you would like to collect more classics from? And, uh, well, I have two, so I'm going to try and show them to you. The first one that I would like to have more books from is this Portuguese edition. I think it's by Civilização Editora and um, it's hardcovers uh, and they have end pages and they have like um, this really beautiful cloth bound uh, cover but they're really bad to read in the sun because they get all um, just destroyed completely and if this catches water it will destroy the book and I know that Penguin has some classics in our cover edition just like this one in cloth bound so if not in the Portuguese edition I want in the English edition cloth bound editions because I love classics in cloth bound editions and the other one that I really really want is this um, classic lines edition I have great expectations by Charles Dickens and I don't have any 
book else of this. So I don't know if there are more books of this classic lines sort of printing scenario, but I really love these covers and the quote in the back. I just, I love them and I would like to have more from these two editions. Question number 10 is an underhyped classic you'd recommend to everyone and I'm going to go get it and you will see it and you will love it. So I do recommend Thierry de Quero by uh, François Moria and I read this in Portuguese, obviously I don't know anything in French, sadly, um, but this is a great classic that I've never heard people here on booktube or anywhere to, for that matter talking about and my mom gave this to me and it is really short and I was so happy that she did because I read it and I loved it and I actually have a review for it so I'm going to try and remember to link it down below so that you guys can see why I do recommend this and I don't have to just talk about the same thing over and over again but yeah it's only called Therese de Giro and it's really beautiful and you guys should try and read it if you like classics. So that is all for today guys. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe and tell me down below what's your favorite classic and what's the worst classic that you've ever read. And if you can give me like, um, tell me what classics you would like me to read and if you know any of the classics that I haven't read that I mentioned and what you think about them. So yeah guys, that is all for today and happy readings to you all. Bye!